after many years, we are finally here with the presentation of my Rosewell PA signature. Finally, after I started this whole project with other companies that uh, hired me to design my own guitar, so I have the copyright of the whole design, uh, I finally started my own company, Abate Guitars, with my collaborators Luca Sirtori and uh, Matteo Casotti. So these guitars are all handmade and uh, today I'm here to explain you what is the concept and all the details. There's a reason for everything <laughs> in this guitar, how it's made and why. So let's start with the headstock. The headstock uh, is like, the, I like the 70s guitars with a big headstock like the Strat. So it comes from that concept. Also, not many people know that the part of the guitar with the most resonance is the headstock so in my opinion the bigger the more resonance you have but then it is res reverse because in what like this position is way less comfortable than when you're doing this this is way more natural usually when i'm tuning with a regular way after a few <laughs> seconds of tuning i'm like getting you know some cramps <laughs> and so this is better for me also, this way you have the low string, the E string, that is, is longer than in a regular uh, position where you usually have the first string, so uh, which doesn't have much resonance even if it's longer. So it's better for this, for the transmission of the resonance. Of course, you know, in future uh, models where we want to have maybe the the tremolo, the, the lock, the, the nut here, uh, the resonance will go even more. But still, you know, as you can see, there's a vibration going through. So it's that Jimi Hendrix uh, tribute and uh, an early dance, let's say. Then we have a little reinforcement here because usually guitars with uh, an angle on the headstock have a very weak spot here they end up breaking like Gibson guitars it happens a lot uh, in this case it should be fine obviously the design of the guitar is made around my concept of guitar playing so I am a cross in between a shredder and a old school blues rock guitarist I play almost every style, so I like funky, pop, etc. So this guitar needs to be able to play, to be play, played in every style, basically. design is a, is a mix in between the old school American great tone bluesy singing guitars and you know more modern guitars that have uh, you know the playability the only thing is that because of my way to play I use strings that are 11 to 50 I use the R strings tight fit by the way I have the standard tuning so basically uh, I need a guitar where I can do to like bendings like two and a half tones because that's the norm for me. And I realized many years ago that if you have a thicker neck, you have a more balanced distribution of the tension between the strings and the neck. If you have a thinner, thinner neck, it's more difficult to use uh, thicker strings. So, also, uh, my friend Mike Di Temple many years ago, a huge, amazing guitar builder, one of the top in the universe, uh, he explained me that, in his opinion, the more hood you take from the, from the neck, the more tone you're taking away. So, I'm leaving the tone here. This is a pretty thick uh, guitar neck. It's not crazy thick, and also the design is uh, like rounded. It's like a C-shaped, this egg. 
and here becomes because I play also classic guitar I'm classic guitar trained and so here you have uh, a more uh, flat designed neck so you know I, I have this going on when I'm playing bluesy but when I want to go fast as you can see I get the classic guitarist uh, posture so I have a mix of all this modern and old fashioned stuff and the guitar needs to be there for me in everything uh, another thing I was very concerned about is the access to the last frets so the guitar is 22 frets but you see without even touching the body I'm already way over the, the end of the neck so I'm really comfortable here. Uh, I used to have a, a Nuno in uh, 4 guitar. It has the Stephen extended cutaway, but uh, I realized that between the, the thinner neck, uh, the ebony fretboard, and the Stephen extended cutaway, I felt that it was losing some of the low frequencies, low mid. Uh, this way we keep everything regular. I just pushed this whole thing on that direction a little bit so we have a perfect access to the last frets the cutaway is plenty big so even you know like you will never have issues uh, reaching the, the, the lower strings here uh, at the last frets for example and it has 22 frets not 24 because as I said I can do two and a half tones uh, bendings so I can reach whatever notes I need but having a shorter scale gives me two things one is that you have less you know when the string is vibrating like this in my opinion because everybody's own opinion everything I say here is my opinion so you are allowed to think different but my idea is that uh, the vibration uh, of the string in this sense uh, can be it's gonna have like more neck where it hits if you have a longer uh, neck so it hits to it to the fretboard uh, more fretboard below it let's say that uh, so it's gonna uh, shorten a little bit the resonance and the harmonics a little more in my opinion but especially uh, uh, I, I heard a long time ago and I realized that I agree with that that the best position for your neck pickup is to have the harmonics exactly on top of the uh, magnets on the neck uh, pickup. So if you have 24 frets, your 24th fret will be exactly here, so it's gonna push the pickup on this direction, so it's gonna lose some of the tone. The frets in the guitar <coughs> are Jumbo uh, 6100, Dunlop uh, Jumbo 6100. The reason for which I, I like this is because I do a big vibrato and uh, uh, 
this way it's almost like to have a scalloped guitar but without taking any wood out of the fretboard and so basically uh, there is no sp mm, there is actually space in between the string and the, and the fretboard well, even when I'm pushing the string like this and uh, uh, so this is uh, really good for the vibrato I don't have uh, any uh, issues doing big vibratos uh, thanks to that uh, then we have uh, here some little cuts especially this one helps a lot to reach and this one too they help a lot to reach even further on the fretboard um, what else we have uh, a Seymour Duncan 59 on the neck and uh, we have a Jeff Beck JB uh, on the bridge here we have a push pull uh, that splits the pickups so they become single coils so basically we have one humbucker two humbuckers in series and then the other humbucker on the neck then I split so I have one pickup only one coil working from here I have the two central coils working from here and this one in this way the position of the volume is in a specific spot where even if I'm not looking at the guitar I can just follow the shape of the Floyd Rose and I get exactly to the pot so basically you know I can be watching wherever I follow the bridge and I get there We have here, I moved the belly cut, as somebody calls it, uh, I pushed it on this direction because I realized that the guitar playing, because I've pushed all this system to the left, uh, at that point everything moves like this, right? We all move, like, you know, the guitar is pushed on that side, so the old, the old cut has been pushed usually is here, I pushed it here. Uh, same thing uh, with this, we have a rounded version of this that I made in a way that is uh, already bending from here, so at this place. Also, during the year I realized uh, trying, like playing my very first version of this, that uh, because we have all this, the square 90 degrees uh, corners all over the guitar it was really uncomfortable when I was sitting <laughs> because I had the corner here I was cutting my leg so after a while I was suffering because of that while practicing so the guitars have the uh, 90 degrees angle to this point and to this point this part is rounded purposely so it's very comfortable when you're sitting and you're playing and then we go to the Floyd Rose. <laughs>
concerns the bridge, we have a Floyd Rose Pro. Now, when I first start using uh, the original Floyd Rose, which in my opinion gives you a better tone and has a better construction, it's not only the original, but they use really good materials uh, which affect the tone and the durability of the bridge. Uh, I had some issues with the regular Floyd Rose because usually uh, comes out with all the screws etc uh, like uh, in this way the pro is very flat so i can see i can have my my uh, arm and the end here and i have no issues they don't don't have any problem on top of the bridge uh, so this is the, the like the best solution you can have with the pro the pickup selector is in my favorite position. I had several guitars in my life and uh, I've learned first from my John Petrucci signature that I had it here and then from my Dimebag Darrell signature and then uh, the Nuno signature I did too. But the Dimebag Darrell signature is the first one I had that really taught me about this. This is the best place because you are playing uh, basically You can change the pickups while playing basically instead of having to go here like in a Gibson model or in a Fender model here you know you have the whammy bar in the way and also uh, I uh, when I'm playing I have I have my pinky that touch the body so if the volume like in a strat or a switch are here they are a problem for me my very first guitar was a Wanna be Stratocaster, <laughs> and uh, there was some oxidation on the selector of the pickup and the volume, and it was a nightmare. That's why I've developed this uh, uh, technique where I put my fingers on the on the body when I'm playing uh, certain parts, especially when I go fast. So this is perfect because it's in the best place basically, and I. Uh, switch pickups like every other note when I'm playing because in my mind I think about the, the melody but also the tone associated to it so if, if you follow what I'm playing I'm changing pickups every other second um, so this is very important for me this is a perfect spot for it um, we also have here the truss road um, it's very easy uh, you can control it from here so you can very very easy to check out the uh, what's the curvature of the of the neck then you can change it you know that's very easy and uh, I love it especially if you travel a lot it's something that is very useful even if you know having a thick neck like this uh, you shouldn't be messing with it too often especially after a while you have the guitar and usually we use uh, woods that are uh, seasoned for many years <coughs> uh, so that, that should be uh, not a big deal. But it's better to be ready to get in action <laughs> in every sense <laughs> very quickly. One of my favorite guitar players is Stevie Ray Vaughan. So, uh, you know, everybody knows about his tone, I guess. Uh, so the idea is that um, uh, we have uh, rosewood on the fretboard, uh, maple, the neck and alder on the body all these are made on rosewood uh, and uh, uh, the guitar doesn't have any paint it's just oil because I love the uh, the feeling of the naked wood like I love it for me it's the best and uh, also uh, the more paint the less resonance so the paint stops some of the resonance this way you have the most possible. The guitar, I mean, if you feel it in your hands while you're playing, this whole thing is vibrating like crazy. And the volume is super loud. It's super loud even without the amp, which is very important in my opinion. The guitar features Goto tuning uh, keys. Everybody can uh, customize the guitar if needed. So if you order, if you pre-order the guitar, uh, we can do some change for you. For instance, uh, I've never used the the panel here to enclose the springs, 
uh, because I want to be able to adjust them if needed, if I'm traveling. Uh, and so uh, this is how the guitar comes usually. But if you want, we can also make it happen and put one of these here too. Not a big deal. Uh, another important thing, as you can see, we have only the volume here because I don't use the tone from the guitar. But in case you want to add uh, one or more uh, pots, you can always uh, do it. There's already This is already carved in a big way. This is taking a little bit of weight away, but it's also uh, giving you the possibility to, to, do, to add uh, something with just a little hole, nothing crazy. Uh, so that's another customization that you can do or we can do for you. The radius of the fretboard is uh, 12, uh, but we can also do compounded. And uh, uh, we have this model, that is the Rosewell model, uh, the color of the body and uh, the, the, the neck reminds of the color of the desert, the New Mexico desert, where the UFO fell on, in 1947. Uh, so we have all the aliens, they glow in the dark uh, and react with a black light. Usually I have a black light on my pedal board, so that charge super fast these uh, aliens. We have a very good uh, material for the inlays. I did a long research about that too for years. And so now we have this one that charges super fast. And even if you don't have a black light, which by the way charges them so fast, uh, you can also go on stage and with the regular lights, after a while it starts charging. And so during the show, like if they turn off the, the lights or, you know, or some effects like that, everything gets more dark, the, the inlays start uh, popping up and glowing in the dark. We have the UFO on the 12th fret and we have also the dots that glow in the dark on the side of the neck. Uh, and uh, the guitars, uh, there is also another model I designed many years ago, but we are not doing them yet with Abate guitars. Uh, we are thinking to launch them in uh, 2024. It's the Tesla model. I'll show some pictures right now here that you are probably seeing right now. <laughs> And uh, the, but the, those will be even better as a design uh, than they are in the pictures. These are prototypes and uh, will be available from next year. But uh, you can already contact us to pre-order them. Uh, and uh, the Rosewell model is the main one for now. Uh, you can have different versions of it with uh, regular maple or you know super flame maple uh, like this. <coughs> you can have. Uh, some colors if you rather have that instead of the naked wood of course these customizations are available through the website you can email us and uh, you know you can have a quote uh, we can also customize the inlays if you want we don't need to make the aliens or uh, we can do them different something like that of course uh, the price is gonna uh, change according on what you want or what you don't want like if you uh, want to change anything, you, you just have to let us know. So these guitars are pretty customizable, uh, but our main model for now is going to be the Rosewell that you can see here. Uh, I'm going to do a um, single coils version. <clears throat> the pickups we can do uh, regular uh, Seymour Duncans, or we can also do end wired Seymour Duncans if you want. Um, so you can just uh, let us know and we will make it happen. Thank you for watching and see you around the world <laughs> playing guitar.
Partiti? Sando a voi. Ok. Ah, stai già registrando? Sì. <ride>